In today's episode, we're gonna nerd out quite a bit. Johannes is gonna talk a lot about how they get their friction that Nikon really loves. All the science behind it, I didn't know any of these steps beforehand. We're also gonna cover the topic how they get their edges so comfortable and what they do to get them that way. We're just gonna hang also with uh, Leon and Julius. And you guys are gonna meet Julius for the first time. And also, this video was shot in their old facility. So by the time this video has now been dropped, their new facility has been built and they've moved in. Which is crazy that they have just gotten their entire own building. Because Banana Volumes is re growing really, really fast. So super impressive and super fun that a lot of gym owners and root setters around the world really appreciate the work that they do. And yeah, one last thing also, the giveaway is still open. So if you want to win Banana Volumes Slab Volumes, and have the first of its kind signed by us, you can still enter your gym. So I highly recommend you do that. Uh, just go to your Instagram page. So I think now I've mentioned the things that I wanted to say before the video really gets going. So I'll cut it to Nick and the crew. Yeah, get to learn about what makes friction so good and how the volumes are designed and the kind of that side of the industry. Good to see you again. Good to see you. How are you feel? How are you doing? Oh, sore. Sore? Sore. Correct. <laughs> And I hope Julius is coming soon. So um, yeah, he's he's part of the game. Uh, without him, we couldn't we couldn't run that whole thing. I just want to say it. He's not only a business expert. He's also really a close friend of us. We love him, and we're happy to see him today and to introduce you, Julius. I do my thing. I just brought the boys some food for the morning session. Sweets and sandwiches and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Germany, the bakeries are quite good here, I heard. <laughs> what is the origin story? I don't know. We sat together, talked about building some volumes and then we built a company. That's basically it. <laughs> Figured out some prices and then we sold them. Is that uh, a new color? Yeah, we're trying to make a Ariel Disney color. <laughs> <laughs> Just for me and Leon. Super small part of it. And there's also other glitter, like yeah. blue. <laughs> oh, I like the blue. And silver. But, but these are the big ones. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna try. 100%. Friction is a lot about the paint used and about the sand used, what many people don't know maybe. This here, down here, is the sand we use. It's white and shiny and has super fine cranes, all the same size, pretty pretty the same thing, pretty unique. Um, and this one is uh, sand you can find in any market anywhere in the world, uh, which is rougher in crane, and the cranes are mixed. So there's big chunks and small chunks mixed together, and this is what we not want. So we use this, and I will show you why. If you just imagine the surface of the volume, like a wooden volume, it's like this. Yep. And then we throw on the sand, and there's a big chunk, there's another big chunk, maybe another one, maybe here another one, and here another one, and here. So you have gaps in between, and all the little chunks go in between, and will fill those gaps here. So in the end, we have nearly a flat surface here. So because all the gaps are filled. Yep. This is what we not want. Yep. And this is what happens here. This is the sand which is uh, just a certain size of crane. And if we have the surface of the volume, we have that size, same size again, same size again, same size again. And it continues. And if you just imagine, we have gaps in between and it looks more like this. And on that nice peaks, your hands will stick on. So they can just feel it, feel the sand, and just try to, to, to get a feeling of the crane. And you might feel that there are no peaks inside. Yeah. So it feels a bit like salt, because also salt has the same size. Yep, it's perfect same size. And if you want to have a proper proper volume, you should uh, have a look at the paint as well. I think we, we, we managed to find just the right amount without measuring. It's just a feeling uh, in, our, in our process, which developed during the last 10 years. 
I see on the glossiness of the volume how much paint is on and I don't need to measure it, it's just something that happens. It's a feeling and I think it's uh, for us the best way to do it. At the moment I'm pretty satisfied with what we got now. Um, I think Nikon likes the friction because it's very even, not too rough, smooth, but also durable and uh, will stay there for long. So I hope I could explain something about friction and you guys understood what I, what I tried to tell you. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just opened the 3D program I'm drawing the new volumes with. Then I'm thinking of, okay, which for which purpose? Should it be for overhanging or for slabs or should it be super complex? Uh, so the, the latest shapes are getting more complex as we improve in producing them. Uh, in the end, I, I uh, take the draft to Johannes and ask him, do you think it's possible to build? Um, sometimes he says, like, you're going crazy. Um, this is not possible at all. But in the end, it's always um, yeah, small changes we do, I think. So the details are going to be changed and then we can build the new volume. And in, in any case, it doesn't feel like work. So that's a good thing. Yeah, I just told the story about how we sand the edges. Yeah. Like, if, if I do it just by a machine, you will always have a little edge being still on. And therefore, we just use sandpaper in our hands and we do it with our hands so you feel it immediately if there's a little tiny spot which has to be sanded. I think that's the best way of doing it, otherwise you just don't have the feeling. Cool, so it's like everything you guys do here is pretty much done by hand. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we use a machine for sure, but the last step is always by hand. But yeah, so it's been, I mean, a joy to hang out with the boys here and especially like, talking with them about some pretty crazy things. I mean, especially you walk in and you see this, I don't even know, I thought it was a pinata at first and they're like, no, that's an actual volume that we've coated in gold, gold sparkles. So it feels like, you know, if I want to do crazy things, then I know exactly the person to call. Uh, I hope we, we had shown that we have good ideas for volumes, uh, as you have seen yesterday or here in the workshop. But uh, we are kind to hear your ideas of volumes. Maybe you have uh, also crazy ideas for painting, for coloring, for maybe shapes or whatever. Uh, just write us an email or get in contact with us. We'd be happy to hear it. Yeah, thanks for being here. I'll try to manage those two creative minds also in the future. And I'm also looking forward to your crazy ideas coming into my email box. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for the love and the support. Just drop us a like, a comment, maybe subscribe. And don't forget to email your ideas to Banana Volumes. Cheers! <laughs>